Hello from Chesapeake Bay Sharpay. It is September 28th, 2015. And our time is 1 o'clock. Bailey has been in stage 1 labor since, say, about 6 o'clock this morning. Uh, this is her bed that she'll be giving birth on. Uh, what it is, is it's a folded egg crate mattress. Fold it in half and then put it in a waterproof uh, mattress cover. Let's see. There's the mattress cover. This does is allows her to give birth in this mattress, makes it easy to wipe up. Then I put a couple towels on top because it's going to be messy and allows me to change them out and give her new clean bedding and be able to clean up the mattress so she can use it the whole time. So you can see she's, she's sleeping. We're trying to rest actually in between some of her contractions. Um, and then what I have over here is this is my little clean mat and I have some surgical scissors because the umbilical cords are extremely tough to cut and a little suction bulb uh, to help clear the puppy's nose and mouth. And then I have a scale over here. This is so I can actually weigh the puppies um, at birth. And then of course, well, if you've been following me on Chesapeake Bay Sharpay, you know that I weigh them every day uh, to make sure that they're gaining. So then I have my paper and pencil handy. That way when the puppies come out, I can weigh them, put down the color, the sex, the time, because I like to track all that stuff so you guys know when your puppies are born. So for those of you that have got my puppies and have the breed contracts with them, this is the stuff that you should probably get uh, if you're going to end up having them or delivering some puppies. And then you need to have some patience and a lot of love and make sure that you have your vet number online or uh, ready to go because the last thing you want is anything to happen to your dog or your puppies and not have any proper support for them. Okay. Now another thing that I have for her is some cheese. Because cheese is a good source of calcium and calcium helps dogs with their uterine contractions. See, she's, she's all perked up about that. Now, she hasn't eaten today. Uh, she does not want to eat. Uh, that's one of the signs that she gives me. Uh, besides panting and walking around and being miserable and nesting, uh, I've got to constantly keep on putting the, uh, the towels back in place because she'll nest them, um, pull them up and stuff. Um, but she'll actually go over to her food dish and nose it out of the way because she's not really hungry. But I can get her to eat some cheese because she generally can't resist cheese. Now, well, maybe she's going to this time. <laughs> but cheese has got calcium in it, which will help support her body and it will help her with her labor contractions. And if you go online and you read from a bunch of other breeders and other websites, and there's some really good websites out there from other breeders, and they go through um, the birthing procedures and, and labor with dogs, and I recommend uh, reading up on them and visiting those sites. Uh, that way you're fully aware of what's going to happen, what can happen, and how to deal with it. But uh, you'll see that, you know, when labor is not progressing, um, sometimes the vets will give them oxytocin, or some breeders actually give them oxytocin. I don't know where they get it from, but uh, what they do to try to bring on contractions. But because oxytocin makes it strong contractions, and it can detach the placentas, and you have more than one puppy in there, it can actually endanger the rest of the litter. So I would not recommend doing that unless it's you know it's the last puppy. But your girl should probably want you around. All right, this is the first pup Bailey had for this litter. She's cleaned him all up. And he is trying to suckle. 
Bailey wants to make sure that he's completely clean. So he's found the nipple. This one was a bit scary in the aspect that uh, Bailey had gotten out of bed and she went to the back door wanting to go out. Because just like uh, humans, you know, they feel like this pressure that they have to go to the bathroom. And I saw her at the back door and then she just started leaking. So I knew that she just had a placental breach. So got her back into her bed and she pushed up this baby. So lucky that we got it out quickly um, since the water had broke on the placental sac and the baby could have suffocated. But we took care of it in time and all is well. Well, here the pup's just a few minutes old. Mama's uh, got a little bit of rest in between. Living about every 11 minutes. She's got five little babies so far. And I will try to capture an actual birth, but uh, I may be a little busy and depending on how it goes. So, we'll see. Okay. So she's getting ready to give birth to another pup. It's a breach. Got to pull the legs and pull them out. Give them to Mama so it's clear his face. Okay, gotta go because gotta help the Mama out. you imagine trying to give birth while you have six babes suckling upon you? Push up. Baby, push. Oh, it's another breach. Okay, you gotta pull the legs and then pull downward. Okay, there's the babe. suction of nose.
face, baby. Lick his face. Come on. Lick him, lick him, lick him, lick him, lick him, lick him. Birth is still in there because when he was born, the umbilical cord. She's gonna chew the umbilical cord, which I really want to chew the face, or I mean, with the face. He's born at 630. <coughs> okay. This one looks like a little Isabella female.